If you guys can hear me, it should just be a, a few moments. I like to join my own live stream and listen to it to make sure my levels are right. That's weird. At least I stopped it. Audio output capture. Come on, I want to hear some tunes. All right, I think that's a good level. Now is the part where I have to share my live stream URL to the whole world. Is my did my music start over for some dumb reason? I don't know. We'll just listen to it. Make sure. Discord. Shut up, Discord. I don't want to change devices. Uh, promote. Where's my channel's promo? I'm posting in general, that's right. I need to make one. I'm not doing that right now. It keeps playing the same track over and over. Facebook. It's got all these old people that watch my stuff. Just kidding. All right, all my self promos done. Let's go and actually put a chat. Excuse me, I'm freaking my pot. Excuse me. I'm freaking my pop. I don't 
don't want a place I can promo myself. My game. Stupid ad. Not appropriate. Not coding yet. It's the noob. The moment I ear gore. Did something happen your in your ear? It's the noob. Might get a couple people to watch my stream off this game I play called Ebony. Looks like this. Maybe you've seen it before. So I missed this one. I'm coming in too late because I was setting up the stream. Let's see what they say. If anybody immediately says something. No. I'm coding in, blah, blah, blah. They did whatever. Put that over here. No, I ear gored. Ear gourd? Gory things happen your in your ears, it's the noob. I have to remember, try to re at least try to remember where I left off in this code I was writing. Remind me, it's the noob. Did you join on previous coding streams? Hey T Sanchez. Are are you the T Sanchez I know in Arizona? I'm not gonna call out a relationship and unless you say it that, that you are the one I'm thinking of. Well at least you stopped by us the noob. That's that's really cool and nice of you to come in at the beginning of my stream, so if you can hit a hit the like button on your way out and, it, and if you get time come back and say hey, what's up? You are the one. All right, that's my sister, you guys. Everyone say, hey, what's up to my sister? The IT guy, my sister is in chat. To, to put it in perspective, I had like this rough time in my life in 2010 and only two people cared about me. Well, cared enough to like listen and help me instead of judging me. And that was my sister and my cousin. And that sister right there. Those are the only people I wanted to answer the phone for. <laughs> Not ironically, I was stuck in a, a weird, awkward place, broken down in Oklahoma when my Nova was broken down. And both of them separately sent me a phone. Um, and my sister sent me the phone that they were going to trade in, but they were waiting on T-Mobile or somebody to get their crap together. So I got to use it for a couple weeks before I sent it back. And then my cousin sent me my first Android phone, Heart Shapes. Still been using Samsung, Sam, blah, 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 Samsung Android phone since then. So 12 years. Huge impact on my life. Oh, IT guy. IT guy was in the previous chats. And a couple of programmers. One that has more knowledge than me. And another one that had less knowledge than me. But their comments together helped me fix a couple of things. Now I need to remember what that subroutine was so that I can polish it up. If that sums it up for you guys. I think it's this subroutine right here.
every now and then a pop-up this game. He asked for some help, so I helped him with his little game rally. Guys don't know the game's called Ebony. I've been addicted to it. It's helped me relieve stress from work. Where you actually get to talk to people that aren't mean to you. He said, can someone please send me a full march? That means he needs help with this. And I sent him 257,500 of level 10 uh, mounted troops. I'm not gonna get any more detailed into it. Just a little context. Now in this, if method is 30 minute, we just, I had to change, I'm changing it to one hour because the API wasn't giving me 30 minute data anymore. Start new session. And you're like, what are you talking about, Rob? I'm not a programmer. This is all blabberty blah to me. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So for, in order for this program to work, it has to programmatically talk to a server with something that they call, well, not they, the whole industry calls an API. Oh, look at that weird data coming out of it. I don't like that show of it. It's easy to read. I was using Firefox last week to debug. What? Yeah, I can. It's to, oh, because I copy pasted from, what? I was using it to debug last week. Let's try this again. Copy. Don't worry, I'm gonna explain more. Look at all that data. It looks all like blah, blah, blah. That just means at this time, which is May uh, 5, May 22nd, 2022, Ethereum, I mean, at 8 a.m., Ethereum opened at the price of $1,972.16, and its high was $1,083. So, it's kind of like stocks. The open is what the value is at the beginning of this little block, if it were an hour. And then the high is that line that goes up, the low is the line that goes down. Blah, 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 all that number. Yeah, I don't need to explain all that. But I need all this data in order to run algorithms for this, and I'll, and I'll compile it so you can see it. Hey, Marzi, I, that's how you, wait, that's a unique name. Is that your actual name is, or is it like an online handle? Handle. It's like Marzi Mivenjad, except it's probably from another culture, and I have to hear you say your name before I say it right. Oh, you're Blue Sky. Oh, hey, you're from Ebony, sweet. Uh, if you have a, a PC, I sometimes play out of a program called LD Player, I used to use blue stacks, but blue stacks won't let you give it give the game more RAM. Does anybody else need help with Vikings? There's one. So here it is compiled. On this tab you've got it actually gathering this data I just described. Well, actually it looks like this. And you'll see it, that's this historical data. It's gathering it and then it gets the gets it. And then when it says historical data, it's actually running the algorithms. And then it calculates the algorithms to determine um, lines and stuff, like these lines right here. Okay, this one's called the MACD, moving average something something, Stotch relative strength index. I just happen to remember that what that one stands for. But I have those in there. And then what the idea is, is that here's my personal balances in that exchange. Like I have this much Ethereum, 1.5, and I'm using the SMAD algorithm to sell. It won't let me look at it right now because it's I'm debugging because this I use this website a, a API to run my program and I have my my cryptocurrency on their exchange, but they told me I needed to upgrade to the newest version of the API. So I'm kind of forced. Let's do 
stupid phone. Leave your screen on. I want to watch chat. All right, back to coding. Let me close this. Maybe you could see this. It won't let me edit it. It says wait. I mean, Ethereum is fine. That's something I'll have to debug later. Let me, like, if I do edit and create bots, it's not letting me into the menu to show you. And it's full of errors. I should clear these. That way, if I do some more coding tonight, I could see what the, the, the new errors are. I got, I'm using, this is the old one I was using, version 2.0, and some older, other parts of my code, I'm still using 1.1 as the API. It definitely needs to up, update it. And the URL I'm being forced to use is our recent, so it's giving me one hour of data going all the way back and if I just run it fresh come on the oldest is 5.22 at 2 a.m. now that time is in Unix time I don't need to explain what that is it's kind of like universal time oh wait it is it's UTC not Unix it's just both start with U, I get confused. Unix is a computer thing. Um, so 522, and you see it's 621. So it's giving me 31 days of data, which is not actually enough. In order for some of these algorithms to fill up with data, I need more than 30 days because I need 30 days of data to determine if something's ready to buy or sell. So I need to go to the website, ref the uh, doc. Yeah, yeah, Elemental Place. Um, hey, Charlie. Uh, say hi to your aunt, Teresa. She's in the chat as T. Sanchez. And Marzi Mivinjad is... Hey, I said it right, probably. Marzi Mivinjad is a friend of mine from the game I play called Ebony. My phone caught up. Okay. Now I want historical data. I need our data since that's what they're making me use. I used to use 30 minute data, but they only give me one minute or five minute. I mean, I'm not going to do what do they call micro trading or something? In five minute, it's just like. I have to sift through all that. An hour, I guess I'm going to one hour data. Uh, so maybe I'll just use some Google, see if there's some examples. Bitrix, API, get here. I already have that in my history. Get my candles. Hello, keep forgetting names of relatives again. Yeah, Charlie's like me, bad, bad with the names. Binance? I don't want Binance, I said Bittrex. Why you no listen, Googles? It's a different exchange. Bittrex. Put quotes around it, like, freaking gosh, guys. Is this other one good? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, GitHub? I'm not querying github that's a code repository website where you put your code does it say bitrix in here anywhere okay control f uh, one hour one day 
time frames. He's defined. Hmm. This guy knows more than me, and he's trying to do everything at once. I'm closing that. Let's see what I can do with this. Do I have any previous... Now here's an example I might be able to use that I wrote down when I was trying to do five minute data a couple weeks ago. Hour one. Validate. What, 22.58 is not a, a good date? Not found. Let's compare it to this other one. ETH-USD-Candles. Historical. Alright. Candle interval is what this says goes right here. And then historical, your month day. Interval, historical, 2022. Year, month, day. Oh, 05? Oh, 05? Okay, 55? Five, five. Why you tell me invalid date? Recent? You're at Nuggets House? So, you're double Nuggets tonight? Double bucket of nuggets. Now for the price of one. With extra grease. I bet you, if I stare at this for a couple more minutes, market symbol. Desired month. It says integer, which is an int 32. Well, it's gonna be a string in the URL. Can't give it an integer. Desired day to start from. So, month, there's a year, month, day. Trade midpoint? Let's go back to my notes. That works. So I want to change this to hour one. Invalidate. What? It, it will do minute one. What about minute five? I swear, Bittrex is just being annoying. I need more than 30 days of one hour data let me do it. Yes, times two. His iPad speak is on two for some reason. The new iPad speak. Because you paid. Okay. Read the thing. Retrieve recent candles for a specific market and candle interval. The date range of returned candles depends on the interval as follows. Minute one is one day. Minute five is one day. Hour one is 31 days. My headphones are falling apart. No. I'm distracted. Day one is 366 days. Candles for intervals without any trading activity will match the pre whatever. I don't need that part. Um.
Ah, Bitrix historical data API example. Come on, Google Powers. Don't fail me now. Yours are about to die. Yeah, charge them up. And get wired headphones. And I don't know. It's going to be hard for me to let go of my wired headphone telephone. I have a Note 8. I know I might get a Note 9. It's my next upgrade. Get a used one. Because it has a headphone jack. Got to peel the headphone jack out from my Kung Fu grip. Whatever, guys. Make sure I don't have a bunch of wounded. I do have a bunch of wounded. So it helps people with things. Get recent candles. Oh, they're actually saying how to write the code. But show me the example of how that comes out. Is it like... Ah! What I hate about it is that it doesn't tell you any examples anywhere. So if I do this, I already have no pad open. And then look at a working one. Markets, market symbol. Candles, right? Candle type. So I want to put candle type here. Boop. Which is what options? Trade or midpoint. I don't even know which one of those I want. And then candle intervals one hour. I want historical. 2022, 05, wait, 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 wait. It's month, day, year. No, it's still year, month, day. Year, month, just for giggles. I'll put that, 5-1, and valid date. Well, what is a valid date, you guys? I'm going to switch my train of thought because I might figure it out in my subconscious. App data, local, our tools, money, cryptocurrency, watch list, Bittrex. Let's take a look at Ethereum algorithms, see how they're running. Shut up, I'll fix my license later. Uh, open. See what I mean how I need recent data for the algorithm to fill out the numbers? Without explaining the algorithm, it's like exponents and sum of and having to do weighted averages and all that. You don't get working data until this many iterations. Which, how many is that? That's important for me to check. That is 48, 48 hours of data that I need to grab before I can get whatever, oh, the 48 SMA that I need for 
The 48 simple moving average is something that you need to generate another algorithm. It's a pain in the butt. And as you could see, that's the one. No, there's one other one. No, that one's fine. It just didn't only had three points of accuracy in the decimal. I thought there was blanks there. But it's the only it's the one with the longest run until you have good data to work with. And then from there on, you have data for all the other intervals. And I don't the only time I ever look at this stuff is if I'm debugging the algorithm. I copy paste it into a spreadsheet I download off the internet. Like for stocking for stocks and like if you want to trade this stock and you want to trade it at this algorithm, use this spreadsheet. And it's got all the math in there already. And I'll delete the numbers out and put these numbers in and make sure it matches. I want to get a Note 9 or something too. The Note 20 Ultra I have is too huge. They designed it for the Nephilim. Yeah, we we're the giant angel people that defied God and came down onto Earth to rule all you. And we decided to design all of your phones based off of our needs and our giant heads. I can't do wired with my business. It's stuff in shop though. Speakers in your shop? You have a shop? I'm jealous. So here's the issue. You're trying to get candle intervals in time when clearly the interval between candles is a distance. Oh, you're right. It's space, not time. Mm. There I am trying to reverse the laws of Time Lord science. It's filling out this data though. So let's see how many intervals I get of actual good data. And I'm not actually caring about what the numbers say. I'm just gonna copy paste so I can count it because access be like, I not give you that infos. Derp -a -derp -a -derp, go all the way down to the end. Uh, don't count the first row. So 699. 699. Divided by 24 will tell me how many days of data that is. 29.12. Mm, it might be enough data to do trades. So for now, I'm going to treat it as if it is. Enough data to do trades. Now there's a... If I can get back to the right screen. There is an endpoint in this subroutine where it tells it, the previous subroutine where to start with the data. Chronomancy plus plus. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Chronomancy plus plus. Like spinning a staff around. There's an episode of Doctor Who when they get stuck in a space loop instead of a time loop. Because the TARDIS can actually land around something, have it inside of itself, inside of its interior dimensions. But since its exterior dimension is in another dimension, it can land inside of something else. And one time it landed inside of itself and it was stuck in a space loop. Space loop! It's the only way to not break the universe with, with the time machine. If that phone have a normal ratio, it would be a tablet. Yep. If you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just bought the new Note Note 23. I, I love. Well, you can't. Oh, hold on. Uh, yeah. Can you hear me now? What? Oh, oh yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I'm sorry, but I can't hear you when I'm talking because my mouth has to go way over here. Stupid phones. <laughs> Master Nugget B. What? All I have to do is hit Control F and type return. Return zero. Uh, it's trying to do something. That's a market does not exist. It is return zero. Write that in my notes. Hit F3 to go to the next return.
not enough data is returned zero. And it puts not enough data in the, in the, the cell of the interface that you look at, so you know there's not enough data. What's this one? Start record is less than zero, is return zero. So I need to do is now that I've updated and changed some of the code, I need to make sure all of these are legit. Does it make sense, guys? If they're all doing the right thing and not giving false returns. What? Is this the same subroutine? Because this is the same as that. It might be like an old code that I don't use. Hey, Brian, if you're paying attention, is there a button or something to, to where I could see the name of the subroutine that I'm currently sitting in? Because I might have just dropped into another subroutine. Here, here, Jason Ronum. That should be the legit one. Gollum. Gollum. Oops. Oh well, I just did something strange. If I did it wrong, they, they don't, if they don't like it, they'll kick me out. And it says replace Bitrix symbol, which means replace ETH pipe with blank. Oh, that's a hidden value in the memory. People don't, the user doesn't see that, the user being me. Historical done. So I'm going to call that result historical dot. Find previth. Shift of three. Come on, shift of three. And it's totally up there. Trust me. A button, it's a drop down. Um, yeah, you got to be really specific to me. You got to be like step A, step B, step C, and then I'll find it. Of course, you're not at work where you can look at it, so I should shut up about that. You can check Viking menu to see whose it is. He says the 20. Then, mm, scroll up, you slow chugging game. It's his. <laughs> Where's the screen cap button? Um, um, uh, screenshot. And I'll kill it. With my preset. Uh, she'll do it.
the 20 is yours if you want to know about the 14 please specify come on guys quit being vague there's a part when it starts downloading Oh, Brian, if you're there, if you could see, this is the code we were trying to figure out last week. And var stream, that just means make a thing, guys who don't know codes, is you're trying to do a thing, and if there's an error, catch it. So you can try to do something with the error. And web exception means, I know it's a web page thing. And then the error dot response dot get response stream means get the stream of data it's trying to give me and then do something with it and you have to encode it that's so annoying utf.8 is a standard for characters that are represented on your screen because letters on your screen are not just letters because they had to make it complicated and then you make a reader to read that garbage using the stream that you established there and the encoding method that you established there so because you, you're just you happen to be a genius and know what encoding it's using and then I don't, I don't think I need this line this is the one the string I just need a string of characters result equals read to end and then if it says market does not exist I can do something with it I could say market does not exist it used to be the error would happen later and was easier to handle Here's a return zero. What I'm looking for is something I wrote in my notes. Jason row num. That's the important thing. Shift of three. I, I can't return Jason row num before it exists. T tell me where I first defined it. Jerk. What was the thing? Now do shift F3. All right, starts out as zero. Master Nugget made an epic F and F mod. So it's a directly above the search form that appears when you hit control F. Wheat. I don't like how it has all this garbage. Oh, now when I scroll it, I get lost in the code. But I'm assuming I can use that from now on to make sure I'm in the right subroutine. And I can just glance up there. Okay. Okay. Moving on with my life. I'm going to press F3 so it goes to the next one. This is where I'm actually reading the code that comes back. And my son actually knows what a JSON file is. This is where I'm reading the JSON file that the server gave me, which I showed you guys earlier. Looks like this. And then once I get to the last parameter of one line, which is quote value, I know I can save that as a thing. It looks real simple. Um, Do, do, reader dot read means read one part of it and if I see it's not empty which is what null is and this is just a little helper to make sure you're actually reading a JSON file parameter is the thing it's it, it sees and then reader dot read so I can get the value so like the open is the parameter and the value is 1972.161 okay whatever and then it just keeps looping and doing that. And it's like, if the parameter says code, if the parameter, and that's how I catch the error mark, it does not exist. If the parameter says starts at, open, whatever. And it keeps doing that through each pair until I have them all. And when it sees quote volume, I know I've got to the end of one row. So I can say, add row to run this other subroutine that adds this to 
the interface that I'm actually looking at with all the numbers on it. And it says road, rows added plus one. And also Jason row num is plus one. So let's go to the end of this and go int test equals Jason row num. And then hit F9 so the code will stop when it gets there. So I can see how many rows it's hitting. Oh, there were build errors. <sighs> okay, test was already done. So test two. Oh, F12. I'm going to try that. Because I do declare this variable shall here on forth be an integer. And this integer shall be known as Jason Ronom. Thou shalt use this integer no more than seven times. So 744. I want a little Monty, Monty Python there. What do you guys think? I'm going to test this to make sure it's actually 744 datas. It says 745. What? What? Can't can't type, can't count row one because that's the, the header of the column. So 746 means there's 745 rows of data. And where am I, where am I? Too many windows open. It says 744. It is 744, but there are 745 rows of data. Well, which, this load, this load, this DT connection. It's the connect that's the connection to the file. That's also connection to the file. This date time, open, high, lows, closed, volume. Where's a freaking coin? What coin am I on? Shift F5. Hit F12. Merger! Go straight there! Just like Brian Davis said. 99.99% chance I'm going to show this video during AP Computer Science next time I teach it when talking about declaring variables. That's right, and you need to cut to the part where I say I do declare. You shall take the holy hand grenade and pull the pin and then wait six seconds, not five, not seven, but six seconds. And then throw the holy hand grenade. What was I doing? Oh, I need to know what coin it is doing. It's probably doing coin. No. Ugh. It have twelve again. I'll take me all the way up. Symbol. Okay. String test three equals symbol. Oh, I just have a spot for me to see what symbol it's doing, so I can open that file, see if there's 744 in it or 745. I bet you it's 745. Yay, we got hugs! Thanks for stopping by, Teresa. See you later. Symbol is ADA because it's alphabetically first. Close this one. No, don't change the layout. It was fine. Okay. It's in youth. Fine, I don't care. Auburn, why are you being so difficult? All right, Unix timestamp column. 
paste. What? They said they're not the same. Oh, because that is being a what's it. Quit being a what's it. It's only got 740? Two. Huh. Which is 741. Go back over here. Look at no algorithms have been filled out yet. Mmm. So, let's hit... Let's type this in here. 741 when ADA gets this far. And then hit Shift F11 to have it move on with its life. Come on. Do the next coin guy. Meanwhile, in an alternate universe. I said alternate universe. Don't take over my, my screen. Gollum. Royal Thief. Good, I can attack it. Uh, I hate Royal Thieves, but they help people. So I does them. Wait, that was the wrong March preset. I'm supposed to attack it with horses, not with archers. I am getting your royal now so now what symbol are we on we're on bitcoin it says 744 so let's go look at that one I know it's in use. Calm the freak down. Maybe I want to use it while it's in use. Maybe it's a team player game called Coding. And that only had 731. This is strange. I go back to the ADA one and refresh it. You see the algorithm ran and filled out everything else. And let's go to Excel. And go insert column. Where's the third? No! Shut up about genuine office. You're a glitch or a pile of glitch. You're totally genuine. You're just being annoying. Insert. Insert. Fine. This is ADA after. ADA before. I'll view. Ah, give me the view menu. Freeze panes. Freeze top rope. Control end. ADA after has 743. So it, it generated the whole row at the bottom. So this is Bitcoin before. And let's go back to the code and have it move ahead a couple times until it tries to do the next coin. Mike Khan! Hey, Mike Khan. Brian Davis is still in chat. I know Brian Davis from church, and I was telling him how even though you got less knowledge than me, you had more knowledge than me about streams and helped me fix that one code. So now we're on Dash. So I'm going to go look at Bitcoin and refresh it with F5. And go to here and put, yeah, whatever. BTC after. 
go to control end. So we've got 730, and then it changes to 731. crack my neck. It's rare for me to crack my neck. <sighs> Alright, let's go back to the code. ADA is 742 after. Seven thirty and seven thirty one. Seven thirty when BTC is it's this far. BTC is seven thirty one after. Shift to five. I need another third piece of data, which is what this parameter actually says. Gonna turn this fan to point at me. Well, believe it or not, I have a 200 millimeter computer case fan hooked up to a voltage converter with a USB cable going into it. It's like a bunch of parts that I put together so that I can have a fan that just moves air in this direction but is silent from when I'm recording. Okay, it's 91 degrees outside and I got all the AC running. So ADA, when it gets this far, is 744. ADA says 744. All right, now I want shift F11, shift F11, shift F11. Are you stuck? Shift to 11 again. Oh, here we go. Bitcoin is 744. It says 744. Now, let's show you what I'm doing. Shift to 5 to get out of that. It's adding. It's making this value go up one every time it reads a row. But here's the f weird thing. If I copy paste the data out of the, the file it's making, it's actually putting less stuff into Bitcoin. And always it adds an extra row at the end once the algorithms all run. And that row at the end is where it calculates and decides if it's time to buy or sell. That's a very long story short. It's like reading the whole Bible, and if you could summarize it in three cents, in three words. <laughs> That's how much code goes on. But why is one, it's like 742 rows. Well, yeah, 741 rows, because the header doesn't count. When it says 744, that's two missing. And then 730, there's 14 missing. Look at that, deleted means that it downloaded new stuff and this data was old. When you refresh it, what coin am I on right now? The coin is at, or the subroutine is on. Oh, it's not running anything right now. Because I stopped it. Jesus came back. Yep, that's what happened. We summarized all the religious texts of all the things. <sighs> T 
total records? Hmm. Hmm. So before I trust this subroutine, I need to know what it's returning to the, the parent subroutine. Join, 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 join. Get all the loot, all the loot, all the loot. I'm addicted to this game. So we've got ADA. Apparently it's 744 lines. What are some of them blank or something? Total records, 744. Pairs found. What? Pairs found is zero. I'm gonna hit F12. Do what Brian says. So it begins there. Oh, that was me testing on a previous video. Get that out of there. They're both 744. Total records, is it added up the same way? Oh, look at that. It removes the starts at every time it sees it, which is this with something that is one character shorter. And then it looks at the total length of the thing. And what's the difference? They can tell how many times, how many rows there are. So it's telling me that Bitcoin B PC. Uh, there startup BBS. I have Notepad test BBS, and it makes test two dot txt, and it's replacing BB out of test dot txt. So instead, let's replace the starts at. And what it replaces with it with is a carriage return. So I can actually copy paste it to Excel to see how long it is. Uh, C script test.bbs. Test2.txt. Now I can copy paste that. Delete the first row. All rows count. 744 rows. And that was Bitcoin. So I don't know why it's creating an MDB file, which is flat, face, flat file database with less rows. Yet, spoiler alert, if you haven't read the Bible or heard of it or seen any of the movies or the TV shows. I picked on somebody in high school when they said they, you know, because I'm so old. I lived in I lived in the 90s and this person said every time somebody's talking about the movie Titanic they ruined it for or they, they kept trying to spoil it so she wouldn't listen and I said really loud across the classroom hint it sinks at the end and she got pissed off like it's not a spoiler everybody knows the Titanic sinks she's like no it doesn't don't tell me that it's historical data, just like this is. Now I'm curious. 
Why Jason Ronum is not coming back. Am I still running? Am I still dub debugging? No, I want to go. I want to check something. Did it, did it take the stops out? So quote volume was the last thing, I think. Yes. This volume equals whatever that is. If this date time is not equal to, to date time null, which I should just declare use a uh, Unix time for that, but whatever. Rows added, but Jason row plus one is added every time they see quote value. We've already established that quote value appears 744 times. So we can do this. Int num test equals zero. So there's zero rows. And we're gonna debug this if statement inside of this if statement inside of this if statement inside of this loop. Is he got it, people? Plus equal one. That makes it one more biggers. And then int test three equals num test. So f9, f5. We're gonna find out how many times that if inside of an if inside of an if inside of a loop gets done. Seven forty-four for ADA. One, two, three, boom. Now we'll check Bitcoin. Believe it or not, back when I wrote this, my boss let me work on it at work because I did so many tickets he didn't care. I was actually using my works license for Visual Studio. All right, here we go. Bitcoin and Jason Rowe is 744. NumTest is 744. So it went through the thing 744 times. So when it returns it, it should have just done Bitcoin. And the part where I was trying to debug it, I just passed it. The if inside of an if inside of an if inside of a loop is num test is add row to, to coin watch history we're going to check that in a second come on where's my notes at i don't want to lose the name of the subroutine thank you i just don't need these testing variables clogging up my life
So this subroutine is called every time it wants to add another rope. And the, fucking th the funky thing about flat file databases is that if you want to keep adding rows, you have to leave the file open. So it's actually opened before the previous subroutine starts and then closed when it's done. So I'm going to go back to Bitcoin. even less data. What happens? Hitting F5. Maybe these lines are blank? Oh, because this isn't... There it is. The opens. The timestamps. 5, 22, it's 1700. This says 522 at 2 a.m. Of course, it's a different time zone, so what do I know? <laughs> Going to run if you have questions, do be email me. Ugh. Who else is in chat? Three and a twenty-four. Oh, twenty-eight. That one's getting its butt kicked right now. Did they beat it? Did they beat it? Did they beat it? Are you ones over? Are you disappears now? Yep. No animation or nothing. It's like poof. I gone's now. I disappeared face. You're there kind of. I think I'm dwelling on this part of my code too much. I need to go back to where it spits the data out and follow that and make sure I don't see anything weird. Return row count. So this is where it does it. If method equals minute, if exchange equals bitrex, sends the 30 minute command. I don't even use this anymore, but whatever. Let's put an F9 there. I'll be able to see the symbol too, make sure I know what coin I'm looking at. Row count 744. For ADA, shift F11.
Are you gonna do Bitcoin? Seven forty four Bitcoin. And it returns get historical data for exchanging coin. Return row count. So what subroutine calls it? So the fly, get out of here, and that goes into this one. Get historical data for exchanging coin. And it gets the row count back, which is going to be 744. What do I do with row count? If day file exists, blah, 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 blah. Has enough day data. I never program day subroutines in. I'm not actually using row count. Oh, that sucks. After all that work. If exchange equals bitrex, then... Oh, that's where it gets the last... Oh! That's what the last row is for that appears. The now data. From right now. So we'd better check that that's using the current API. Look at these old, old versions I used. I'm down here. Get bed. So I remember working on this a few months ago. So that part's good. Part's good, sweet. So we're there. Other exchanges I never su supported. And maybe I should slowly, surgically take them out of this thing. play this game for just a second they're slowing down I can tell they're slowing down so I'm going to put some people in some more resource spot somewhere I want a close one so I don't have to think about it seven so about a million food let's grab a uh, She'll do it. She's good for it. Scorpions. So much easier with a mouse. Do 
Do I has wounded? I has wounded. Shut up, ad. You're not in. Shut up, other ad. That's a lot of wounded. Must have joined with the wrong March preset. Making sure the values are not blank. Add row to coin wa watch history. So that's watch. Is that what I was looking at? Yeah, watch list. Okay. Go back to where I was. That's how it puts in the last row. Oh, this is this is awesome. This is where I declare the variables that are gonna be strings for another black file database that has all the algorithm outputs into it. We've got the, the 13 simple moving average, the 34, the EMA, whatever EMA stands for. What does EMA stand for? What does EMA stand for? Exponential moving average, there you go. 12 SMA, 26 SMA, 12 EMA and the 26 EMA, CCI, which is Commodity Channel Index, MACD, Moving Average something something, 14 ATR, Relative Strength Index is in there, VWAP probably, well, VWAP comes later I guess, Volume Active, I don't remember what VATP stands for. It was an abbreviation I came up with for a concept that people use, but they didn't have an abbreviation. All right. This is how I end up handling that one thing market does not exist. So I should have enough data in there. Calculate moving averages in MDB file. That's a subroutine that runs the algorithm. Put it in the thing. Then to run the algorithms. Uh, top chat one. To go out, not full screen it. Stupid YouTube. Zero people in chat.
Not Viking, I don't care about Viking. Junior Knight Baird. Bulk of gold. Nice. A bunch of junk that I have to like accumulate before I do anything. Golem. Golem chest and a bunch of junk. Remember when I moved once from Arizona to Texas? I took all the stuff out of my mom's van and shoved it in the closet. Then I was trying to figure out where to put all the furniture, so I drew a diagram of the bedroom and had this abbreviation on the closet that said BOJ, which done, stood for a bunch of junk. Bodge. Are you getting ready for work in slaving? So pipe check, I couldn't use this one way to get multiple variables to return from another subroutine. So I combined them all into one string, which this example shows you. And then I have to separate it all <laughs> after it comes back. And then look at this. This is where it looks at the, the CCI, which, what's CCI stand for? Commodity Channel Index, to see if it's oversold or overbought. Because if it's less than 100, it's oversold. If it's greater than 100, it's overbought. It's based off of the calculation in the algorithm. And then previous, or the VCCI, which is a, a volume weighted CCI. And then VATV is a volume weighted something I can't remember, oversold or overbought. RSI, SRSI. What I want to know now, that since everything looks like it's lined up like it should do, is run it to see why it won't let me check my bots. Because after Bitcoin populates, I'm supposed to be able to go over to here and right click on Bitcoin and go edit and create bots. Six three seven. All right, Bitcoin. Right click. Wrong tab. So it's not letting me. That's a fine. I have to backtrace it from where the error pops up. Please wait for data for this exchange. Please wait for data for this exchange. If USD market equals string dot empty. That's coming back with that. So if I go to the designer, come on, let's go over there. I have to look for that row. Come on, watch, watch, watch. I'm looking for a row called USD market. I should have looked at where it gets USD market. So Brian told me hit F12. It was row that sells USD market dot value at the stream. For each data grid view and cryptocurrency watch list data grid view that rows. So that's just a part of the GUI, since it's just IT guy there, part of the GUI that I called that. Cryptocurrency watch list data grid view. And if I go to the, de the designer, 
watch list. Double check the name over here. Cryptocurrency watch list data grid view. And I'm looking for USD market column. There is no USD market column. Exchange symbol over. What? Maybe if I go to edit rows and columns, where that edit columns. Exchange. I'm gonna know what the name is. Watch exchange, watch symbol. USD market is crypto compare supported. not populating that that row that column header text okay now let's see if it works because it may be trying to fill in that cell think of it as a spreadsheet it might be filling that trying to fill in that cell based off of the column the the header display name instead of the actual variable name of the whatever eggs I had a lot of sugar today and I wanted to be keto but day today was super stressful I think maybe I'll have some eggs and a bunch of broccoli anything else that I should do to uh, flavor that up for myself you think from eBay is it something I should care about oh just a pedal I'm looking at no nope. oh, balances nope have to look for where it populates that cell and see why it's not doing it. Cheese, seven cheese curds and brock. It's just weird. It's like, I only had seven cheese curds. I opened up a whole container of cottage cheese and I took seven pieces and broccoli and olive oil and cheese I got tired real quick versus having five strips of bacon I had energy yet bacon is a lot of fat Check watch list. Puts the value in. Anywhere else? Get historical data for exchange and coin. Now go over here to notes. It calls it. So, response. Response to what? That's reader.read. Message? This is... Get historical data for exchanging coin calls this get historical data for Bittrex and coin so it needs to populate it after so row count is what I get and that's gonna be a 744 I spent a lot of time on that memorizing that
And now we're looking for adjacent response for what? Crypto compare. Let's see. It's aggregate 30. Ugh. Hate aggregate 30. I don't even know. I think I need their data anymore. Let's go ahead and put ETH in and see what it looks like. Oh. Ethereum, not Ituja. See, there's 30. Does it do 60 minutes? It's kind of just say. No. Ethereum and symbol is USD and limit is 145 and aggregate is 60. Uh, well, what's 290? What else? So. Should have copy pasted that thing it puts in USD market. It's not getting a good JSON response from that. But do I do actually do anything with it? Let's put this here. Seven cheese curds is all I ate. I opened up my cottage cheese and I got seven pieces, which is what I ate. I'm singing, I don't know why. Okay. Dude, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me some data. This is not even get that far. They call cheese that it made in a nugget like shapes, curds. Actually curds and whey is just heavy cream separated. That's it. You could put cheesecloth over a pan and you could pair, prepare heavy cream by bringing it to a simmer. And you add either lime juice or something else, like a tiny amount. And then it wants to get all foamy. You wait till the foam gets to a certain point. You turn the heat off and let it cool down for like five minutes and then you pour it onto the cheesecloth and you let it sit for like an hour and then you throw it in the fridge overnight. And above the cheesecloth you'll have curds and below you'll have the whey. Curds and whey. So it's funny when they're like, curds! Okay, curds can be little lumps in cottage cheese or it could be mascarpone, which is what I just described. Did it stop? It's not actually doing that subroutine. Let's put it here, see if it ever comes into the subroutine. So tell me, IT guy, if I had eggs and broccoli, should I add anything else? I want to flush all this sugar out of my body that I had today. So the, got to the subroutine. I got a timestamp. I got a web client. I got a blank thingy. What's method? It's minute, okay. Exchanges, Bittrex, okay. Seven hundred forty-four. It returns 
744. So the, I think the subroutine only uses crypto compare if it doesn't get a data. So what if I did this? I need this row number. The row number tells it where in the columns and rows. Actually, we're in the rows of the thing that looks like a spreadsheet, but it's not. To put the response. I need to see if this passes row number. It does. It passes row number to get historical blah 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 so I can go like this into here look for all the spots where it says return like this this random error one I'm going to put before the return because return stops the subroutine from processing anything else and then put that row num so far so good it's the same dot cells USD market dot value equals response not file web response don't even know what that is so it's not response I want to put error that'll work because then if I have to trace back to see why the words error in there, I will find this. So the next time I say return, it is right here. Start record. Start record zero. Less than zero? Why would it be less than zero? Because math? And there's no total records yet. Oh. Uh, error negative records. So it's less than zero. That's fine. I'll just debug it later if I ever have that. I did that probably way back in the day just in case it did math and came back negative. And this already takes this takes care of market does not exist and this should be success so right here should be success why is it not putting success let's see if it goes there Ah, YouTube's on my phone, got stuck and broke. I want to watch Obi-Wan tonight while I eat my eggs and broccoli. You know what I'll do? I'll eat four eggs. Sunny side up. And just keep dipping broccoli in there until I run out of broccoli or I run out of eggs. How does that sound, IT guy? It not doing it. Nobody's going to tell me, but I need to know how to find... Stop point 
in Visual Studio. Control the sweet. Oh, because Pram's never going to say code. F9. You ate a lot tonight. Hey, it's the noob back from doing absolutely nothing. You know what you might have done? You might have been like, I'm going to leave then stepped into a time machine on accident or on purpose or just like you know how when you're wandering into the kitchen and don't know why and then stepped right back and said I'm back from doing nothing and you were in your own timeline were only gone a minute but for me it's been thousands and thousands and thousands of years and I'm old man Rob and I'm like what who is that hold on I can't see you with these glasses let me try the other ones is that you? It's the noob. You've been gone for so long. So long. I'm so lonely. That's what it's like to be me. Starts at. So I'm going to write starts at in here. If param equals code and param is starts at. So I'm going to erase this line. Oh, I don't wait, not yet. Else if. Dang it! Else if. If param equals starts at. Cut paste this down here so there's a success. Success! Insert generic YouTube kid saying yay sound. Uh. And then compile that. Why you always say skull? It's the noob. See if you can find an old man emoji. You've seen old man Rob on my YouTube channel, right? A lot of your eating is to repair from the previous shift. I need to repair from the previous work shift I had. I had a really rough day and I just kept going to the vending machine to get ch sugar because I was the only per person that could help people and everybody was pissed off. It sucked. I'm sorry, I'm, that's outside of my control, but I'm trying to help you now. <laughs> Yay, it worked. I can get into the menu thingy. Look at it, the, the IT guy. Edit bot. There is no bot. So, create bot. So, what about my Ethereums? Can I edit bot? Press down. Ah! Oh. So, my SMAD cell bot says that I currently have. Where's USD? That much USD. It says 35 cents here. What? Oh, there it is. 35 cents. Available if I wanted to buy Ethereum. But it is set to sell. I I'd like to have like it highlighted over here in the background somehow. I haven't done that yet. So I know I'm on a sell without having to look at this grayed out sell number of coins. It wants to sell 0.57 Ethereum. Whenever it gets below. Or so when it gets above. 3,029. But right now, it is 1,014. 1,714. It's 1,714? That's a lot higher than it was a couple days ago. Let's look at the charts. It works. What did I ask IT guy? It says 1,107... 1,102. What? 
wish it were one seven oh four. Eighteen forty. One seven oh four. When was the last time you were one seven oh four? It was the thirteenth of June. Open, low, high, volume, VWAP. Highest bid is 11.02. See, so that works, 11.02.765. So if I were to zoom in on this, this is 11.02.706. Why is that value? Lowest ask is 11.03. Why you you should you always have to buy within these two? Highest bid, which means the highest price someone is trying to pay at, and the lowest ask is the lowest amount that someone's asking to sell their Ethereum at. And whenever this number is lower than this number, it's a really bad time to buy, and it's a really good time to sell. If that makes sense. But that means if it's a normal market. Right now, it's not a normal mar market. It's hard to explain. But since we're at a, in a like a pullback or a what do they call? I can't remember the term. So where it's been too high for too long and it has to come back. That's a good spot to buy. But in a normal case, you want them to be the other way around when you buy because then you're buying at a discount. Yeah, you're right. It's the, the IT guy. I didn't have any any money when it was nine hundred dollars. Now it's eleven hundred. Imagine if you bought one Ethereum, you would have made two hundred bucks. But it's only two hundred bucks. So you don't beat yourself up because if you only had a hundred dollars, you would have only made like twelve bucks or something. I don't know. I'm not doing the math. It's a random number off the top of my head. But my idea is wait till it gets to six hundred, and then wait two years on that or one year, right? And then you'd be like, oh, I need this thing. Like the whole back half of my car is gone or in real life, my Nova, the front half is gone. But what I'm wondering is which one of these numbers, 1097 or 1099, is supposed to go over here. Oh, it is. It's 1097. The 1705 is the United States dollar value of how much Ethereum I own. That makes more sense. Ugh. I don't have an amp hooked up. I want to grab an amp. Play my guitar for like 15 minutes or something. Since I am done writing code for the night, I'm going to let this run. I'll look at my game for a second. Doo -doo -doo -doo.
Sorry if it seemed like I was gone forever, but I left my amp in the basement from the last live stream. I got sent. Step one, toss the blanket. Toss. Step two, shove in the amp. Step three, fix that knob you just touched because I don't know what parameter that is. Step four, uh, use flashlight to plug in amp. Step letter V, because we're on Roman numerals now, for some reason. Plug an instrument cable to the input jack of the amp. Step VI. I can't see anything, so turn on the surge protector with all the things. Yeah. Yay. Oh, there's a thing to join. Okay, okay. March, push, crawl right up on your knees. About to play my guitar on my live stream. Joints, joints, joints. And this other end, which is step dot, little V, little I, little I, is plugged into the output of the pedal chain. Now I'm going to put my headphones on and listen to what I, what I sound like, so make sure this sounds good. So go, go to my thing, my OBS's. Now, s step eight, because we're back to numbers. Because I'm not doing Roman numerals anymore, no reason. Plug the guitar in. Honey, yeah. Turn the amp down in case I blow my ears out. And I gotta figure out where where it's not working. Okay, the tuner works. Maybe one of these times in the future, I'll have two webcams and one will be pointed at my pedal chain. That's, the, that's the, clearly the letter A. There we go. I need better tuners. Because these tuners are garbage. They're from, they're pop, what they call pop metal. Super hot day today, so it'll, it makes the wood change its shape slightly. There we go, that pedal works. So I know there's sound going into the tuner pedal. So I have to follow the pedal chain and toss pedals out of the way that I'm not using. Oh, my pedal chain is broken because my fuzz pedal's in the other room because I was filming a video. I get it, hold on.
It, that's loud. That's also loud. Still, nothing coming from the guitar. Why are you no going? There we go. Where we go. Hey, Stan Dragos. Are you from Ebony Game? If you are, go tell other people to come over. They can actually watch YouTube and then switch back to Ebony and they'll see YouTube as a, a little thing on their phone screen and they can just drag it out of the way. Come, yeah. Come over and say what's up. All right. My previous live stream, which I had a friend over last Friday, was helping me figure out some future mods I'm gonna do on a guitar pedal that I built. And I'm gonna see what it sounds like coming out of the amp, going in to YouTube and then going to my headphones. So first I gotta stop the music in the background. That's a beautiful tone. Everybody asks for Stairway to Heaven. They don't realize how hard it is. And they also don't realize that a lot of people don't want to play other people's songs. They want to play their songs. Testing, testing. See what it sounds like. I'm like 20 seconds behind in the headphones. A little bit louder. And a little bit less high range EQ. Maybe I should play you guys an actual song. You guys want to hear an actual song? People in chat, tell me if you want to hear an actual song that I wrote, copyrighted by me, that only a few people have ever heard before. I'm... I'm... about to play songs if people come over and want to here. I'm actually typing in Ebony right now. See? This one, I like to turn the boost on and the fuzz off. All right, this is just a test. Of the emergency broadcast system. No, I'm kidding. This is a test of what it sounds like, and y'all can tell me how good it sounds, as in the levels. All right. That's loud. That's good. Good matchup there. And 
put my house shoes on because I'm pushing pedals with my bare feet. Hurts. So if you guys are curious about my clean tone, it sounds like this. This is a, a Fender Squire Stratocaster, so a generic one from China that I have fixed up and done this setup on. So I have really long and beautiful sustain. And it has an aftermarket bridge from Music Lily on it. And I need to change the tuner, so it might go out of tune. And here's with the compressor. Can't really hear the difference on that. Here's the fuzz pedal that I, cr I built. And here's with, what is it? with phaser and delay. Like this swimming beautifulness. I'm gonna push that a little bit. You guys ready? Let's see what they say and have any chat. Nothing. All right, we're gonna play a song and see how many people hear it. Without any further ado. Turn this down. I dream when I oh back down there. I dream and when I dream, I dream I'm asleep, dreaming of you. This is not my life. This is but a dream. And when I You'll be next to me. Unity! Here we go. I drown to wheel what together. More fuzz. I, I drown to wheel what together and it was forever. This frightens me more than anything Because I knew it was just a dream If you pray for an angel to save your life And you opened your eyes, she was there If you experience a love at first sight Would you even be aware In a dream or worth in a dream You held me close and said my name and then you whisper the three words that mean everything to me. Some people live in their dreams. This is what happened to me. I dreamt you were gone forever. My true love lost to me in a nightmare The life I am living Can't possibly be one without you And when I dream This dream within a dream A dream I'm spending it with you I drown, I get a hold of you And I never let go of you And I try not to wake up Because the dreams are never enough If you prayed for an angel to save your life And you opened your eyes, she was there If you experience a love at first sight 
Would you even breathe well in a dream within a dream? You hold me close and say my name, and then you whisper the three words that mean everything to me. Staircase to Valhalla? You want to hear the original? <laughs> That's a song I wrote. I can bust out the... Mike, do you want me to hear the same song but on acoustic? Oh, TWT in Ebony chat says... <laughs> I remember... Uh, it says that she saw the Fix It song. Lol. Ah. Lol, the Fix It song. I remember that. Right now, I am playing real song I wrote. Now I want to open this one program I have where I have the pedal settings. No, not Trish. That one. I want. That was. Dr yeah, dream within a dream. Uh, who was that? Who was that? TWT. You can watch YouTube in little box while you play Ebony. So, let's go back to here. And I want to make sure my pedals are right. Uh, that's... Uh, 2, 3, 11, 3, 5. 2, 3, 11, 3, 5. There we go. That's what that is. That sounds great. Now, can I sing to match that level? Let's just do a test. It'll be totally awkward because this is de delayed in my ears. Some people live in their dreams. This is what happened to me. I dreamt you were gone forever. Hmm. The amp is still too quiet. What if I put the amp over here? Let's try this. In this case, I'll put it like that.
My con says ready, so I'm gonna play that same song again, but on acoustic. The same song I was playing earlier. I might, what I might do in the future, if I can get it all worked out, is put my pedals into a mixer, into my computer, so you can hear what I'm hearing. But... Gets a different guitar. Turn the amp off so we don't hear the bzzz in the background. All right, Mike, gonna tune this baby. I don't need to hear it, but I can hear levels if I do this. Quit playing my background stuff. Audio output capture. I keep turning that off. Stupid summer making all the woods in my guitars is this warp. 65 degrees one day and 91 the next. Singing, singing, test, test, test. Yeah, that's decent. Take the headphones off so it doesn't distract me. All right, Mike Con, here, here goes it. Join a couple things in Ebony. Give me a general. Just generally a general. By the way, all these songs are copyrighted by me because they were written by me. It's an old Steelzies. Turn the tuner off. Some people live in their dreams This is what happened to me I dreamt we were gone I dreamt you were gone forever My true love lost to me in a nightmare The life I am living Can't possibly be One without you and when I dream, this dream within a dream, a dream I'm spending here with you. I dreamt I got a hold of you, and I never let go of you. And I try not to wake up because of dreams are never enough. 
you prayed for an angel to save your life And you opened your eyes, she was there If you experience a love at first sight Would you even be aware and not dream Within a dream, you held me close and said my name And then you whispered the three words that mean everything Never shine and I know Nothing will feel right Not as long as I dream this way Not until I can awake Life was meaningless until I found you You are everything that's pure and true You became an extension of me Without you I am incomplete If you prayed for Life, and you open your eyes, she was there If you experience a love at your sight Would you even be aware And not dream within a dream You held me close and said my name And then you whispered the three words That mean everything to me So I wonder if Mike Kahn got to hear the acoustic one. Hey Gertrude, did you come from Ebony or just random stopping in? Aw, oh, message retracted. That's too bad. There's something wrong with your message. I wrote that song a long time ago about an ex-girlfriend that kept having a conversation with me one day trying to uh, get some closure about stuff and then the next day being mean but then she would have say that she had a dream about me and I was like I had the same dream oh hey Jet and and she would be like oh that's weird and she would stop talking to me for a few days and so in the one of the dreams she like held me close and said I love you and that's when I wrote Dream Within a Dream. Oh, a couple people from... And Mike Khan actually, in a previous live stream from last Tuesday, helped me write code that I was struggling with. So, Jet, you guys are not just awesome in this game, apparently. Which I have open right here. And I'm still getting a few Vikings. But the thing is, I realized last week, I spent a day with my son. And I realized that life has to come first, even if you're just pulling your phone out of your pocket every five minutes to join a Vikings rally. You know what I mean? So if you guys are going to stick around and leave YouTube open in the corner of your screen while you play Ebony, I will play a few more songs until I feel like I want to go eat and watch TV. Which... I do all the time, even if I'm not streaming. So, I might as well just have my first live stream with some friends I already know. So, I'm going to scooch back. And if you guys hear anything wrong with the levels, which means my voice is too liar, my voice is too high or low where the guitar is or something, just let me know and I'll figure it out. Um, this next one is called Some Joy After All of These Years. These are just blue blocking glasses so that my eyes don't hurt staring at computer screens all day. Let's see if I can get the lyrics right. You are the first good thing that ever happened to me. And the first to gain my trust and my very first love You are the first person that ever cared for me And the first good thing I lost, the first thing I wanted I lost I've done many things, 
to hold back the darkness inside Prescription drugs and I'm locking away My feelings flying deep inside lately I've been going to sand with you back around now Cause I know it's not the same You'll disappear any moment now to give this heart was yours not mine the last time i lost you it took until the end of may just to forget about you so i could try to love again Say the same because I was weak. I will forget you again at the cost of me, even though inside I am empty and bleak. Yeah, I haven't eaten yet because I had sugar at work because it was super stressful. Help desk server was down and I'm the only one who had access to anything. Yes, I am a composer. And if I get enough subscribers motivating me, I'm going to make an album of all this stuff. I'm joining some rallies in heaven. I'm not being super picky about the generals. Ugh, back to Ebony. Hey, you can, you know, you could, you could just leave the YouTube thing in front of your Ebony and move it out of the way when you need to press a certain button. That way you can jam with me. I'll play one more and see who's going to stay. I got to fix my calluses. Just a second. What should I play now? Uh, what do I want to play? These are all copyright me. Don't steal my songs. What can I play? I can play Never is a Long Time. <laughs> Surge... Tankian. That's cool. Never heard of that guy. Alright. This is a song that is in interesting timing signatures that keep changing. The verses are in 3 4 and 4 4, and the chorus is in 5 4. And you'll be tapping your head to the beat, if I can remember all the words. That is. If I can remember the chords, too. And the concept of this, this, because normally your notes are down here and then you move up the neck. So the concept of this song is starting here and then moving down the neck instead. I 
I still have dreams that you are here. I stare in your eyes, run my fingers through your hair. I await you emptiness and feel no ever pain. As I long for the one I love each and every single day. Letters, but I threw it away out of misplaced anger. But there's one thing I'll always remember: how you signed everyone, always and forever. But I'll tell you what always is, always is, and never saying goodbye. But never is what this is, and never is. So long time, I'll tell you what always has, always is, never saying goodbye, but never is what this is, and never is a long time. I can't sleep, cause I see you when I close my eyes, and even there, you say that you're mine. Should I choose a lack of sleep? Of seeing you again. Which one has more greed? Tell me which I want to send. Oh, oh. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Forget you, and I, and you always said we to make it through. And I promised I'd always love you, always. I'll tell you what always is, always is, and never saying goodbye. But never is what this is, and never is a long time. I'll tell you what always has, always is, and never. And never is a long time Hey, TWT. Twit. How do you pronounce your username? Twit. Somebody has a funny name. I'm not picking on them. I'm just having fun. Oh, so TWT came in in the middle of never is a long time. It means you don't mess with people telling them you're going to be there for them forever when you're actually going to be gone because it becomes never. And never is a long freaking time. That's what that song's about. Well, since I got another watcher, let me see and go back and see if there's any. Anybody who's in chat right now, if you haven't yet, please hit like on the stream. It really helps me. I've only got eight likes so far. And I did coding and chatting with people, and now I'm playing the guitar. Uh, oh, let's see. There's some lovely songs that I love but I haven't played since 2019 because drama was happening in my life in 2019 and then everybody knows what happened the year after that Journey's amazing but it's my heart second hardest song to play and it's like it's kind of a tribute to old songs like uh, I found out that the tuning I play in my guitar is the same as the lead guitarist for Led Zeppelin so this is a tribute to that and Journey is also the name of a band from back then so I'm like I was singing about my personal journey in my life but it's so hard to play that one song stays a little bit easier 
but it's a love song. That, I need a different guitar, but it's messed up right now. Gone to War. I can play Gone to War. The IT guy says 11, because I turn it up to 11. Let's play Gone to War. See my fancy program because no file browser in Windows will let me look at three notepad files together in one window. This is the lyrics, the frets, which is like the notes I'm allowed to play for each section of the song. It's how I wrote it and composed it. And here's the tabs that I wrote out with all the pedal settings. Yep, yep, hot stuff. We're going to play Gone to War now. This one's a tribute to people who fought in Iraq or Afghanistan or even before that, who, while they were out fighting their war, um, their woman cheated on them. And they use cadences. Cadences are common terms used in war. And this cadence is calling the guy that your girl's cheating on you with uh, Jody. All right, here we go. Do you remember on the last day when I held you on the driveway and I looked to you straight in the eye and said, listen, I tell you no lie, I've been enlisted in a temporary foolishness, being dragged away in bewildered innocence, but don't be afraid, I'll be back, my dear, and some of me will always be here. And you said, and you said, why? Me, me, all I could say, all I could say was goodbye. I'm gone to war, leave my heart with you. You could take care of it while I'm away. And now I feel sore that I, that I can't be with you. Hold in my arms every day. Oh, I. Then I come home after so long, and I'm looking for my li life. Sorry, haven't played this in a while. But Jody's driving my car, Jody's in my house, Jody's holding my wife. Feel strange knocking on my own door. To hear your voice And you tell me with all your conviction That you've made a choice But I see the wounds in your But I see the pain in your eyes And I see the wounds in your life Walking away is the war walking away from you is the war. I'm going to war. Leave my heart with you. You can take care of it while I'm away. And I'll feel sore. And I can't be with you. To hold in my arms every day. Oh, I was fighting a war and I didn't know what for But that was before and you'll be what I'll be fighting for You are worth that you are worth fighting for Cause you still have my heart And I didn't get what I came home for Came home for Mm 
some people came to say hi. Well, da -da -da. close that. Go back in. Live chat. One person watching, but that statistic could be wrong. Ugh. I feel like playing one more song, but only if somebody's there to listen. You know, I might just play it anyway. It'd be better to know I'm playing it for somebody. Gonna play one more song. This is a Fender Strat Acoustic that I bought in 2009, whoever's watching. And I bought it at Guitar Center and I got it with their warranty. And the input jack broke. And I, and I, got, I got it on sale for 260 bucks. So it was a great deal already. But since the input jack broke, I asked them if they would fix it, and they said no. So they gave me my 260 bucks back, and I brought and, and I bought two guitars, a uh, bass guitar which you can barely see right there, that bass guitar, and a really cheap Les Paul style guitar that the bridge broke on, and I sold that one on Craigslist. But then I had to figure out what kind of jack it was using, and I just replaced it. The fun part was replacing it because I had to run a shoestring through the guitar to the new one. I had to solder on the new one, test it with the voltmeter and all that stuff to make sure I had it right. Because how it works is that once you plug in the cable, it turns on the battery. Otherwise, the battery just dies. That was one of the problems with my input jack. It kept killing my batteries. But it's my favorite guitar. And I got it for free plus another guitar. Isn't that a cool story? Anybody else still in chat? I'm going to play one more song before I go make some food and, eat and watch some TV. I think I want to watch Obi-Wan. So, while I'm playing, put in your comments because I really appreciate that and it really helps out the channel. What was I going to play? What was I going to play? Oh, Skulls on Your Dress! One of my favorite songs. I'll have to look up what the opening chord is. I need to play these more often so that I can have them mesmerized. There's the tabs. 3023. Hey, Blue Sky. You're just showing up. You know, I might play more songs, but... Um, I was going to stop after this song. It's called Skulls in Your Dress. You can comment while any questions or whatever, and I'll read comments after the song. And I'm, as long as people are in, I might keep playing songs. Because uh, I normally stay up till 3 because of Ebony anyway. I've been trying to get to bed earlier. But hanging out with people is much more vo motivating and much more positive experience in, in our lives. So here we go. Three. What was the tabs? 3023. 303. Two, three. i 
I'll see you, IT guy. So who got to see hear that song? Mm, mm, mm. Viking asking for help. That one, and then this general. <clears throat> oh, I got 14 hours on the Alliance Mine. Same on mm, it's eleven o'clock my time. It was a really good stream tonight. I got a lot of work done on this code, writing this code, which is running this program, not that one, this one. And I have zero arrows. Zero, bleh, zero errors, which is happy times. Happy times. Let's look at the ballot. Watch of Ethereum is 
I'll give it a minute. TWT came in. Hmm. Serge Tankian. So Mike, I don't remember who Mike said he was. Darwin. I don't like having different usernames all over the place. That's why I'm Robert Gene everywhere. Um, let's see what he said, what he's talking about. Who he said I sounded like. He says I sound like Serge Tankian. Definitely a musician looking dude. 1967, an Armenian American singer, musician, and songwriter. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Lead vocalist, lyricist, keyboardist, and an occasional rhythm guitarist. Heavy, heavy metal band. System of a Down! All right! That's cool. So I'm gonna go hit say thank you to my peeps. Uh, thank you, come on, and blue sky, TWT, and then who's Gertrude? Jet. Who did, did I? Who did Mike Gertrude said they were? Darwin and Darwin. I use I usually stream on Tuesdays. All right, I'm going to wrap up this stream. I'm going to go eat and watch TV. So, I don't see any more requests to keep me playing in the chat. So, everybody say goodnight to my Fender Strat Acoustic. I love this guitar. It's my most favorite guitar. Bye. Oh, I started recording. I didn't hit stop. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking that the stream ended and it didn't. Cuz I hit and I'm over there chatting with somebody in the thing in the YouTube the YouTube live. So, bye for real. I I stream on Tuesdays. I try to because that seemed to be when I got the most viewers. And 
still been only like two months of that. So I'm gonna keep doing Tuesdays unless something else happens. So, Ebony players, if you're still listening, Tuesdays work because all I gotta do is join Viking rallies. But at this time in the evening, people are starting their own rallies. I don't have to lead the rallies myself. And it's easy, just tap it, use my March preset, it only has one horse, change the general to somebody that has higher percentage for double loot back from the monster, and then just do that three or four times and go back doing what I'm doing. So I'm going to see you all next Tuesday. Bye.